Hey, it's Valerie McDaniel. It's March 15th, uh, 2017. I'm sitting outside. I wanted to take time and tell my story from the beginning. Try not to judge me. Judge me. It's been said that memory is the diary we carry with us. Well, 48-year-old Valerie McDaniel put her memories into an audio diary she recorded on her iPad. Thoughts about her daughter. She's the most precious thing to me. Her adventures as a new divorcee. 48-year-old woman trying to start to date. Not a good thing. And also in that diary, it sounds as if she's harboring a bone-chilling secret. I never wanted to hurt anyone. I hate the idea that everybody thinks I'm a monster. A monster? That's not a word her friends would ever use to describe her. Valerie was an amazing human being. She had a light with, within her. I felt honored to have her as my friend. She was so successful and so beautiful and funny and intelligent. She seemed to have it all. A veterinarian with a practice so successful, she was able to live in River Oaks, the Beverly Hills of Houston, and spend her weekends in a $700,000 beach home where she often invited her friends for parties. We always karaoke. Oh, this has been a rhythm. We can learn to love again. It was a lot of fun. We swam. We just enjoyed each other's company. She would always prepare these amazing dinners for us. Now, when you guys had these dinners, there was one thing that was always missing, and that is Valerie's husband. Mm -hmm. What did she tell you about her marriage? She did not feel loved. Her husband was never around. Valerie complained to those friends that Mac, her husband and business partner at the pet clinic, was always out doing his own thing, like hunting. But Valerie later confided to them she thought he was really out hunting other women. She says a woman called the clinic one day claiming to have proof of that. She gave me lists of women that he had slept with. She knew that there had been some adultery. I knew that because she talked to me about it. It's hard to watch someone in that much pain. So much pain, she filed for divorce after 17 years, citing conflict of personalities and adultery. It was a bitter split, but they did agree on the shared custody of their now nine-year-old daughter. She was just unhappy. There was a void that wasn't being filled there. Until, that is, she meets this man, Leon Jacob, a brash doctor, eight years her junior. Valerie is one of the most amazing human beings that um, I've ever met. Uh, she was nice and kind and giving and educated and a great mother. They met by happenstance when Valerie, still miserable in her marriage, lived next door to Leon's mother. Without sounding like a pompous um, ass, I can only describe it as this. I've always understood women really well, and they've always liked me. Just describe the moment you really noticed being attracted to her. I saw her in a bathing suit. If you want me to be very open about it, that's when I first noticed <laughs> that she was a knockout and that I was attracted to her. It was a man raised with privilege. He attended the best private schools. Winter breaks were spent skiing in Vail, summers in Maine. I'm an avid golfer and skier, and I work out a lot. After college, he went to medical school in the Caribbean. I'm a very driven, type A, alpha personality male, but I have a heart of gold. I was lonely, and he kept me company. He listened to me. It was everything I needed. The now single mom finally finding love again. And it looked as if they're both finally free for one another after Leon and his girlfriend split up. One night we were laying on our balcony and she looked at me and she goes, do I have you? And I said, yes. Soon after, Leon officially moves in to that luxury condo. She was very much in love with him. She said, said it multiple times, I'm, in, I'm completely in love with him. But Valerie's friend, Maggie, had some misgivings about Leon. What didn't you like about him? Very arrogant and full of himself. I've just never seen anything quite like that. And I've got a pretty strong intuition about people, and I did not feel good about it, and I let her know that. But Valerie wouldn't hear it. The dashing doctors with seemingly so much in common. We 
talked science together. We both loved astronomy. We had a telescope in our apartment. We used to look at the, you know, the constellations. It sounds like 57 days of bliss, right? Isn't that the number you put on it? Yes. But you know what they say, if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Prince Charming was not so charming. Turns out the good doctor's medical background was hardly professional. Fired from two different residency programs, one where supervisors found him a threat to patient safety. When I hear he has a medical degree, I immediately think, oh, well, where is he practicing medicine? Nowhere. And by the time he met Valerie, the only surgery he was doing was cutting himself off from creditors by filing for bankruptcy. And in the romance department, a checkered history as well. For example, his first wife, Annie. We would fight, 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 and love, 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 fight, 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 love, love, love. It was, it was one of those relationships that people were like, God, they're crazy, but they're, they're crazy, and we love that. But after 11 years, Annie must have had enough crazy. She filed for divorce and would later press charges for aggravated stalking and intimidation. Court documents say he made calls, sent texts, and emails threatening to inflict bodily harm. And I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt your parents right in front of you. Do you understand me? Attempted cyber harassment is what I pled guilty to. Yes, she went a little overboard with her complaints about me. Perhaps, but the complaints became a problematic pattern. He was about to start dating an attractive woman named Megan Vericus. And Leon had troubles with her, too. According to the police report, you busted her lip okay, when um, you put a true. hand on her. I never put any hand on her. We were fighting. I probably shouldn't have put my hand even near her face. I didn't touch her in any way. I was simply trying to calm, but she bit my hand, and at that time, she bit her own lip and subsequently that charge has been dropped because there was no evidence. Charges dropped, yes, but Leon won't let Megan drop off his radar. But you kept on pursuing her, despite the fact that she told you not to. I kept on pursuing her for a little bit, yeah. But cops do charge Leon with stalking. Ex-girlfriend says that he hides in the bushes and waits outside her workplace. Again, you're charged with stalking and with you know, they caught you in the bushes outside there her are office no bushes building. Out. There are no bushes outside They her caught office, you loitering right? outside her office, Waiting. she says, in the bushes. She, she says that. People can claim a lot of things, right? You can say, you know, Superman came down and took me to kryptonite, you know, krypton for the weekend. It doesn't make it true. What is surely true, though, is that apart from the stalking charge, Leon was also courting. And the newfound romance between Leon and Valerie would soon bloom into something very dark, very disturbing. Are you a person who's capable of murder? No, I really wouldn't hurt a fly if I didn't have to. That's quite a qualifier.